In this video, I will tell you how you can do more pull-ups and increase your reps to 20 in a row without leaving the bar. I'm Adorian from Old School Calisthenic and if you can do around 8-10 correct pull-ups in a row before failing, this video can help you increase the reps and get to the 20 pull-ups strength benchmark. So hear me out. The journey to 20 continuous pull-ups in a single set is no different from what got you to your first 8-10 reps. You need more time adaptation so that you create new and more powerful neuromuscular connections. Strength is a skill and the more often you train it, the stronger your muscles and nervous system become. Look, it's normal even for a man to lack in pulling strength because of the sedentary lifestyle. And that's why it takes a lot of time, especially for someone who didn't grow up doing pull-ups, to accommodate rapidly to 10-20 continuous and effortless reps. For this reason, time and consistency become even of greater value than for someone who did pull-ups for almost his entire life. Our execution is not great due to the workout we did the day before. We were tired. However, here I am on another day doing the same 20 pull-ups physical test. It went a lot smoother and the form was much improved. It matters a lot how tired or fresh you are or the shape you are finding yourself at the moment when you try this set. The technique behind to get you to your first 20 pull-ups in a single row is rather simple in theory but hard in practice. Always execute in a full range of motion, arms extended, shoulders locked, chin over the bar. You can position yourself more like a banana if you want, that's a little more difficult, especially for higher reps, but it is believed to be uh, the best pull-up form yet. I don't do that form all the time, but worth working out uh, on it too when you do lower volumes. Here are the four main range I typically hold on once I reach over 50 pull-ups in a workout, after I become uh, tired. You won't be able to do the perfect banana form once you push yourself to higher sets and reps, but you can find a balance uh, here like I do in, in the video. The training method is again basic, you need no more than two three pull-up variants that Differing grip width, from close pull-ups to regular width and wide grip. Then you have some chin-ups alternatives too, that's it. The best tips I have for you are train pull-ups a minimum two times a week and up to three if you can recover properly. Then focus on a few variations, predominantly regular pull-ups and chin-ups. Don't worry about muscle development because pull-ups recruit them all very effectively and stimulate them to grow even if the work scope is getting to the 20 pull-up strength benchmark. In a few words, you can't train to get stronger without consequently maxing out the muscles too. Anyone who got to 20 effortless pull-ups developed very good tonus. A reason why I consider it a strength benchmark and a great goal to shoot for. Then the total work volume per workout should surpass 50 pull-ups. I recommend a shorter rest time between reps and sets so that you can improve muscular endurance too. First, it matters to reach 50 and perhaps over 100 pull-ups in a workout. Second comes the workout duration. Try and reduce the time from doing let's say 50 pull-ups in 25 minutes to somewhere around 20 minutes or even better. And so on, also depending on how strong you, you feel that day. I may suggest 15-25 minutes of aerobic training before your workouts and even before your physical pull-up test. You need to properly warm up if you want to unlock full power and capacity. Then switch the training methods, but keep it simple. You need high sets with low reps and low sets with high reps. Let me give you an example here. Three workout examples. Adjust the set, rep and pause, but it's a good workout structure for a week. Adjust and make it fit for your own particularities. Anything else is qualities that belong more to your character and personality. Like patience, discipline, consistency and passion. 
Respect this recipe and you should reach those 20 unbroken pull-ups in a few months and over a year perhaps for someone who struggles with 2-3 pull-ups at the moment. Only time decides and how perseverant you are. So are you determined or not? Thanks for watching my video, a share would be of great help and don't forget to check out my website's training programs. Salute, I catch you in the next video.